Hey, it's Peter here with Lightharp Industries, and I'm going to show you how to build an AirHarp shield. The AirHarp shield transforms your Arduino microcontroller into a playable musical instrument. Uh, it features a Max Botix LV Easy One ultrasonic rangefinder module and five push buttons. And that's really all it is. Uh, however, with the firmware that I wrote, uh, this will output MIDI messages which can go to your computer and control software synthesizers through the use of a currently Macintosh only driver uh, or you can get one of these whiteboards which is uh, called the Fluxmasin Shield sold by Modern Device, moderndevice.com and it will generate its own sound because the Fluxmasin Shield will take the MIDI messages uh, generated by the Arduino firmware uh, as a function of the buttons that you press and the ultrasound and uh, will will create uh, various sounds. So uh, I will show you how to build this uh, from a kit. All it is is just five push buttons, the ultrasound and these little pin things and uh, and I will show you how to hook it up with the other components. So now we have our parts assembled here we can start uh, plopping them in place. Uh, these push buttons pretty much just go right where you would expect them to go. Um, the four pin typer can really go in one way. If you try to put them in the other way the uh, the pin spacing won't match. So just put them in as you would expect them to go and uh, they'll snap in for a sturdy retention and of course we will shortly be soldering them in place. Okay, now that we have our buttons in place, uh, we can start snapping off segments of our breakaway header. Uh, now we're going to need two rows of eight, and we're going to need two rows of six. Actually, we'll need three rows of six because we need a row for the ultrasound. So um, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we have our breakaway headers broken up into two segments of eight and three segments of six. Two for the shield itself and one for the uh, for the ultrasound. Uh, now, notice these buttons are going on from the top, so we're going to solder them on the bottom side. The headers are going on from the bottom, so we're going to solder those on the top side. With the ultrasound, the pins are going to go in from the top, and we're going to solder them on the bottom. Now, take note, though, that there are seven holes in the ultrasound board. Um, ground, 5 volts, transmit, receive, analog, pulse width, and BW. Leave the BW one empty. You do not want a pin coming out of the BW one. Why? Because we only have six holes, and there are actually seven on this board but BW is definitely not going to be used but we do need power and ground and all that good stuff now the thing you want to remember when you're soldering these buttons is you want to push on them from the other side to make sure that they're that they're fully seated in the in the uh, holes because they have a tendency to kind of back out so as I solder this I'm going to push on it from the from the top side while I solder it on the bottom side you want to apply the heat right to where you're making the joint and then just tap a little bit of solder on there so now our buttons are all soldered on and they're uh, very well seated onto the board. And now we're going to want to install, I think we'll do an ultrasound now. So now all our buttons are in place, our ultrasound is in place, and uh, we're going to go ahead and install the breakaway headers, and these are going to interface with the Arduino. So um, now to get these straight, I actually recommend um, installing it on an Arduino. So we have some Arduinos in here.
our air harp shield is complete and uh, it's now mounted on top of our Arduino. Uh, can we use it directly like this? Uh, not really. Um, I have the I have a driver written by my friend, uh, the genius Michael Krasaniak, that works um, on the Macintosh only, uh, but it also seems to only work with the Dewey Milanove, Dewey Milanove um, Arduinos, and I don't even think they make those anymore. So this is an Uno. It's not going to work with that driver. Now we're working on a way of making this class compliant because uh, the UNO has this theoretical capability of, of being a class compliant MIDI controller. So, um, but that's that's something that's currently in progress. It's uh, uh, hopefully soon um, this will be usable as is. However, at the moment I can't use this as is. So what I will need is one of these Fluxmasynth shields made by Modern Device. So We will take the air harp shield and place it on top of the fluximusin shield. And we now have a completed air harp with audio output. On a mountain in Virginia stands a lonesome pine. Just below is the cabin home of a little girl of mine. Her name is June, and very, very soon she'll belong to me. For I know she's waiting there for me neath that lone pine tree. In the blue mountains of Virginia on the trail of the lonesome pine in the pale moonshine our hearts entwine where she carved her name and I carved mine oh June like the mountains are blue like the pine I am lonesome for you in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, on the trail of the Lonesome Pine, Pine.